guys, hope we're good. Hope we're having a fantastic day today. So I'm going to teach you how to have more fun and fulfillment and enjoy your life so much more. So today is a Wednesday. It's what I like to class as a pool day in business because after Monday, Tuesday, spent very, very heavy in delivery, fulfillment, coaching clients, running through check-ins, pushing results. On a Wednesday, I like to do a little bit for me. You know, I like to pull back a little bit. I like to relax, unwind, get a haircut, clean the car, fresh myself up for the following part of the week. This week, I'm speaking at Fitness Business Mastermind on Friday, and I'm going to deliver all of my best top tips on marketing, sales, delivery, client results, the lot. But I personally feel, see when it comes to being a better man, having more fun, having more drive, having more purpose in life, you got to plan fun and fulfillment. I say it to my clients every motherfucking week. If you're not planning fun and fulfillment within your week, you're going to go stale, you know. Working, training, eating clean, it's a given. It's happening. When that becomes almost natural for you, you need to have more strings to your bow. Because when you start, there's three core components of success and you have to go through the gears with it, right? Phase number one, the awkward phase. You're going to feel very awkward, working hard, training hard, eating well. Then it's going to go mechanical. Things are going to be locked in, but you're just going to be going through the gears. It's going to feel very robotic, let's say. You're going to feel like you have to do it. And then boom, you reach the natural tipping point, which is going to feel like a state of flow, which uh, I tend to have right now. So everything's in flow from the training, nutrition, habits, routines, core values, standpoint. So for me now to start living a more purpose-driven life, be a better man and have more fun and fulfillment within my week, in my day, in my fucking life, I've got to put in little things that make me feel good. So this morning, treated myself, took myself out, haircut, cleaned the car, got a nice coffee, went a little bit of a walk, caught up on a couple of one-to-one -one client calls and uh, delivered also some coaching to other coaches in the industry. Um, so now I'm gonna go out skateboarding. I'm gonna get my board. I just got to do skateboard recently. I'm gonna get out, go to skate for a little bit, get out of my head, into my body, and just chill out. Me, myself, and I. Skateboarding was something I held to my heart very closely for years and years growing up, and I've only recently started skateboarding again just to almost break my week up. So I will see you at the skate park, and I probably will not film anything <laughs> because I'm not that good anymore. But guys, See you soon. And there we have it. About half an hour, 45 minutes of just clearing the head and uh, eating some fucking shit. That's one thing about skateboarding, right? One of the most humbling sports you can do. I was out there for 10, 15 minutes before I took my first slam and uh, never gets old, never gets old. Anyway, going back to the purpose of this video, right? When it comes to obviously putting yourself first, becoming a better man and actually having excitement in your life, because that's one of the core words, excitement here. You want to have things that take out your comfort zone on a consistent basis. Some guys like jujitsu, some guys like powerlifting, some guys like rock climbing, whatever it may be. But you need to find something that takes you very far from what you're normally used to. For me, being in the fitness industry, very used to being in gyms, working, going steps, going runs, whatever it may be. But see, when you do something like this, it takes you completely out of what you normally feel in control of. Because I, st I, st I feel very novice, like very novice when I skateboard. So it makes me feel... Like I've got room to improve, room to learn, like new opportunities and stuff. The thing is for me, like, um, I love to put myself in positions every single week where I try to create more white space in my diary to do things like this. And it will change every single week, but after an extremely heavy Monday, Tuesday, not only from a training perspective, obviously we're pushing still for the powerlifting and the mountain marathon through the Swiss and Italian Alps. Those are like my two big North Star goals for fitness right now. Um, out with that, I like to plan in something completely different because it just makes what you do normally in a day-to-day -day so much more fun, so much more durable and something you can actually stick to because you're removing yourself from it. 
consistently through the week. So there's a little tip for you there, is to always put some of that kind of exciting, fun, new tasks and hobbies in place for you to play around with week to week. See you in a wee minute. Right, all. So there we have it. A little bit of a day wrapped up, to be honest. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. I've just realised that I have two more tasks to tie up right now because I'm in the midst of planning what we like to call our intimate in-person events for our elite clients. And this one we choose five clients from the roster and we take them away for, you know, a four hour intensive and document what's going well, where we need to work on in sense of productivity, purpose, performance and physique and really dial in their mission and vision and values for the next 90 days and beyond. So I've got a little bit of prep for that to do, um, which I'm very excited for. And I also have to tie up a few loose ends, but to kind of go full circle with this video team, when it comes to being a better man, when it comes to operating from a place of vision over circumstance, you have to look at your life through the perspective of who you want to be rather than who you are. And it's like an alter ego. And I think it's very easy to get caught up with doing the bare minimum, going for the low hanging fruit every single day. And I think when you look at it from the perspective of you want to be a fucking savage, you want to be a beast, you want to zig when people zag, you want to go against the grain. So it's like if your training's dialed in, work's good, relationships are good, you're showing up as a person you want to be and you're thriving, you're in a really good spot, you want to now start adding to that. But before you actually add, you want to subtract. So you want to make sure you've not got any vices, bad habits, negative inputs, or poor people around you. And I don't mean poor as in not wealthy. I mean poor people as in they're going to depress you, going to drink your energy, they're going to drag you down. So when your environment's in a good spot, your habits, your routines, your standards are dialed in, that's when you can start living on a higher frequency and demanding more from yourself every single day. But as I said, the vices, the habits, the bad things that weigh you down, that anchor you to staying stuck, you have to go through a process of removing them first and replacing them with good, strong, healthy habits in which you can lean against. So you've not got this white space that's just going to be used to do hee-haw. Absolutely fuck all. That's hee-haw is like a Scottish way of saying doing fuck all. Um, so you want to be implementing good habits and replacing the bad habits and filling that space accordingly. So guys, hope you have a fantastic day today. I hope you enjoyed this style of content, little bits of philosophy, mindset, little golden nuggets that you can maybe implement to your life. Maybe it's giving you a little bit of awareness behind what you're not doing, how you could improve, and maybe just being a little bit more yourself, taking off the fucking mask, going against the grain, and doing something for yourself that makes you feel better. Because when your energy's better, it's like when you go full circle and you're at the center of your own world, when you're fucking thriving, everyone else is going to get a far better version of you. And that's when things really start to go in the right direction. So guys, much love. See you in the next one. Catch you soon.